All right, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Don't forget the thumbs up. This is a video on doing the Fomoto valve oil change. It's my first time using the Fomoto valve. Um, I installed it the first time I changed the filter, but I didn't actually open it up and turn it on. In this video, I will show you me doing that. Um, also, just a couple quick things. It's winter time. Um, I did put snow tires on. These uh, rims are actually for Camaros, um, but they're exactly the same size and can be used for um, the Honda Ridgeline. Uh, it's kind of dirty there. I didn't clean it very well. Um, these are the snow tires that I'm using. And honestly, I haven't had a chance to drive in the snow yet. It's kind of been a mild winter. So uh, this is the Black Edition. Um, watch the video for more information. So it's been about 8,000 miles since my last oil change. And, you know, I think... I think 7,500 miles seems to be pretty good for an oil change. Um, and the reason, for me anyways, um, and that's because I do mostly highway, lots of highway driving uh, predominantly. So that's, uh, this is my truck. And I love it. So far, so good. All right. Guys, so my mileage for this oil change is 13,244 miles. Um, yeah, 13,244 miles for this oil change. And um, I'll turn off my car here. Um, yeah, using the Fomoto valve. So, All right, guys, it's time for an oil change using the Fomoto valve. And um, I put this on the last time I changed my oil. And it's pretty... Uh, I didn't over-tighten it. The When it was originally... The OEM was pretty tight. This one's pretty loose. So I think what I'll do is I'll use a plastic bag. So under this, I did cut out the um, plastic here. So it makes it a lot more accessible. You guys don't, you guys can do whatever you want. I cut mine out because I got tired of it. Um, bump in my hands and then I use a plastic bag to catch all the oil coming out of here. I did warm up my um, car a little bit so hopefully it's not going to get too much oil or on the ground at least. Um, it's almost out. Now, this is a, I believe it's a mobile one oil filter. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm gonna change it and replace it with the K&N oil filter. Jesus. Uh, freaking uh, tough is this one. It's like, how many times do I have to turn it? So annoying. <coughs> okay, just came off. Oh shit, there comes some oil out too. Check out that oil filter. Here's the KN oil filter. to last 20,000 miles, but I would never, I would never ever push it 20,000 miles, guys, before that will change. It's not worth it, even if they say they're rated for 20,000 miles. You gotta be nuts to do that. I went, I think, 8,000 miles on this oil change. Usually I don't. Usually I go 5,000. And the only reason why I do is only one reason. Because the majority of my miles, the significant majority of it, is um, highway driving. So 
highway driving is easier on a vehicle, less stop and go. There we go. That's all of it right there. That was it. What do you think? Gain an oil filter, do it yourself. And then below, I've got the Fomoto valve. So we're gonna play with that. I did spill a little bit of oil. And, um, yeah, so, uh, not all. So the Fomoto valve is just right there. It's that little gold thing. That's the Fomoto valve. And, yeah, you know, I don't go any off-roading or anything. Um, it's there. I'm going to switch it on. Let's see. First, you take off the blue clip. This one here holds it in place. And then you take the switch and you just move it. And there's the oil coming out, guys. I don't know if you can see that. The oil's coming out. Let's see if I can give you a better look. So there's the oil coming out of the motor valve. I left it on. Seems to be working good. It's a little bit slow, but I did warm up the engine oil. Um, the oil looks pretty dark. I expected it as of, um, expected as of 8,000 miles, but all right, guys, it's almost done. Um, probably took like, mm, I think less than 10 minutes for the oil to drain out. It's still, you can still see a small little tiny stream there, but it's pretty much done. I'm gonna flip the switch on it, close it up. And um, that's the Fomoto valve. Okay, now, I've used Fomoto valves for all my vehicles for the last 10 plus years. I haven't had any issues with it. Some people hate it because of the potential for damage and it malfunctioning or hitting something. And you know what? You're right. There's that risk. So, you know, be, make your decisions carefully. For me, it's worth the risk because I don't do any off-roading. And it's all highway driving anyways. Um, this time I used the k air filter. It's got that little uh, uh, hex bolt kind of thing on the bottom to make it easier to remove if needed. But I just didn't over tighten it on my last one. So it was actually easy for me to remove. The factory <coughs> oil, oil um, filter was... A pain in the ass to move out so let's see if i can close that up guys i'm gonna try to go out there uh, let's see if i can do this one-handed you see the lever it's right there the little shiny piece that's the lever it's this the rectangle all you do is you have to flip it and then it shuts off and uh, luckily i don't have to There it is, that's it. Luckily I don't have to jack up my car, drive on ramps, 
or anything like that. It just flips and then I take this little blue thing and secured it in place. So let's see. There you go. So, uh, the blue thing there, if you can see it, it snaps into place. Um, yeah, that little blue thing snaps into place so the lever's not uh, moving. If it gets hit or caught on something, prevents it from, you know, opening up, if you will. But that's it. And clean up my mess here take a look at it and fill it up with oil guys it's pretty quick oil change oh. <coughs> see how the oil looks the oil looks pretty dark um 8 thousand miles. I'll probably go 7,000 on the next one just to be safe, but yeah, that's how it looks. <sighs> this is the oil filter. I'm going to fill it up using a funnel, and this is for my 2023 Black Edition. So that's how you do a modal valve change, and if you guys have any questions let me know i'm gonna go get my oil and pour it all in we're done don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up